Water is everywhere on Earth. About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. Water on Earth exists in three forms, a liquid form, a solid form, and a vapor or gas form. Despite all of the water that exists on Earth, scientists are looking for more water, but not on Earth, on other planets. Since the first planet outside of our solar system was discovered in 1994, astronomers have tirelessly been looking for a planet just like Earth, one that is habitable, the key to which being that water exists on the surface of the planet in the form of a liquid. Rapidly, scientists are making discoveries that are giving us more insight into the million dollar question, is there water on other planets? Which by extension encompasses questions like, is there life on other planets? And if Earth became uninhabitable, where would we go? Would we float endlessly through space in a giant spacecraft, like in Disney Pixar's WALL-E? Or could there be a planet on which life could inhabit and flourish? The simple answer to these questions is that Currently, Earth is the only known planet to have consistent and stable amounts of water in its liquid form on the surface of the planet. There are several keys to liquid water existing on the surface of the planet for long periods of time. The one which makes it so humans can live on the planet is the following. Earth orbits the Sun in an area known as the habitable zone. The important characteristics of this zone are that the planets in this area have the right temperature and are accompanied by lots of atmospheric pressure within the zone. Following this train of thought, we could ask the question, are there any other planets in our solar system's habitable zone? Yes, in fact, Mars and Venus are also in our solar system's habitable zone. Scientists believed that water used to once be on Venus. However, now the temperature is too high and the atmosphere is too dense for water to exist on its surface. Scientists speculate that water used to exist on Mars as well. As it turns out, scientists estimate that 50% of the northern hemisphere of Mars had water, and they estimate it had water for about 1.2 billion years. Scientists also estimated that this body of water was as much as a mile deep. In January of 2010, NASA's Mars Exploration Rover, Spirit, got stuck in a sand trap on Mars, and while it was stuck, it took images of the soil in front of it. These images showed evidence that Mars may have liquid water below its surface, perhaps as snow melt, which trickled below the surface recently and on an ongoing basis. However, these theories are yet to be confirmed. Apart from Earth and Mars, there are no other planets in our solar system with signs of liquid water. Additionally, scientists have discovered skinny dark markings on the surface of Mars, which they believe could have been formed by salty water. Dr. Alfred McEwen, a professor of planetary geology at the University of Arizona in Tucson, is the principal investigator for the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment Camera, the orbiting satellite taking pictures of the surface of Mars. Dr. McEwen stated regarding the dark markings on Mars, the explanation that fits best is salty water is flowing down the slopes when the temperature rises. We still don't have any definite identification of water at these sites, but there's nothing that rules it out either. But what about planets that are not within the habitable zone? Are there signs of water out there? As I said in the beginning of this video, water exists in three forms liquid, solid, and gas. Most of the water in the universe is in the form of ice. Scientists know of no life, that being big or small, that can live without liquid water. So while scientists have not found any other planets with liquid water, they have found two of Jupiter's moons, Europa and Callisto, which have icy crusts that they believe might have water below the surface. Scientists hypothesize that the body of water below Europa's icy crust is salty and has tidal waves, estimated to be 30 plus miles deep, which causes the surface to move, resulting in large cracks or fractures, which can clearly be seen in this picture. 
Scientists think that Europa may have twice as much water as the entire Earth combined. The problem, however, being that Europa is outside of the habitable zone and thus inhabitable for life. Ice on Earth is much different from ice elsewhere in our solar system. Earth's ice is constructed of small grains tightly compacted in a very thin amount of water between the grains. It is in this thin film of water that scientists studying microorganisms in Antarctica have found life in this film by drilling into glaciers and pulling out ice with layers that took hundreds of thousands of years to form. However, ice elsewhere in our solar system is colder and harder than this ice, and consequently does not contain a thin film of liquid water, and therefore organisms couldn't live there. In addition to ice found on Europa, Saturn's rings are made up of rock-hard ice particles. Additionally, comets traveling through our solar system release ice as the ice is forced off the comet by the sun's energy. This ice is what forms the tail of the comet. When comets crash into moons or planets, all of the comet's water is released onto the body it collided with. This is one important way that planets such as Earth and Mars and moons such as Europa and Callisto might have gotten a lot of their water. Scientists have also seen water or ice volcanoes coming up through cracks on Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons. These ice volcanoes erupt materials such as water or gases like ammonia or methane instead of molten rock. Scientists have also found five exoplanets, or planets that revolve around other stars that are not the sun, with water in their atmosphere. However, these are all very hot, Jupiter-sized planets where life will unlikely be found. Finding liquid water on a planet or moon would most likely indicate that life exists on that body. Every day, scientists are looking for these places in search of some form of liquid water and, by extension, some form of life. NASA's Kepler spacecraft and the WM Keck Observatory, located on the summit of Mauna Kea Volcano in Hawaii, have collected data that points to the estimate that 22% of solar-type stars in our Milky Way galaxy have Earth-sized planets in their respective habitable zones. Therefore, these habitable zones could host some form of life. However, the closest of these discovered planets are still 12 light years away, while others are even further. So, if we were to travel to the closest planet, traveling in the fastest man-made object, the space probe Voyager 1, which travels 11 miles per second, or 39,000 miles per hour, it would still take us over 206,000 years to get there.